Hi there. Today we're going to be counting groups of 10 to 30, 50, or 100. So right away, I see I have a lot of chairs, and this is why counting by groups of 10 is so great because it makes counting so much easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how many are chairs are in one row. Touch each chair as you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have a group of ten right on the top, and to help me out, I'm going to circle that. There is a group of ten right here. That's great. What do you notice about your top row and your bottom row? They have the same amount. So I'm going to circle that bottom row of chairs as well. And that will help me out by counting by tens. So here I have one group of 10, and down here I have another group of 10. So I have 10, and then below it I have 10 more. So I have 20. So the total number of chairs I have is 20. Let's try another. This time I have ladybugs. Let's double check and make sure that there's 10 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Using my scratch pad again, I'm going to circle my row of 10 here. And then my next row of 10. And then my last row of 10. And that makes it easy to count. So let's count by tens. We have 10 plus another 10 makes 20 plus another 10 makes 30. So what is the total of ladybugs? We have 30 ladybugs. Great job. Let's try another. This time we have umbrellas. Let's double check to make sure we have 10 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Go ahead and circle that row of 10 umbrellas up here. And then the row of 10 umbrellas down at the bottom. And let's count by tens. We have 10. And another 10 makes 20. So what's our total number of umbrellas? Go ahead and say it. 20. We have 20 umbrellas. Good job. Let's count bicycles. I only see one row. I wonder if there are 10 bicycles in this row. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten in a row. But do I have any other rows of bicycles? I don't. So that means my answer is say it ten. No tricking you. We have another set of bicycles. Let's check it out. We know that the top row should have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. What do we do to it? Circle that row. Do I have another row of 10 below it? I do, so I need to circle that too, and it's okay if you're if your circle, your ring around it isn't perfect. So let's count by tens. We have 10, and we have another row of 10. So 10 and another 10 makes 20. So what's the total number of bicycles? 20. We have 20 bicycles. Next up, we have flowers. Look at all those flowers. That would take us forever to count those one by one. 
So let's count just the first row to make sure there's how many? 10, that's right. And we'll go from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten. What do we do? Circle it. There's one row of ten. Do we have another row of ten? Absolutely circle it. And do we have another row of ten? We do. We have another row of ten. So let's count by tens. We have 10, 20, 30. So how many total flowers do we have? We have 30. Wowza. Now let's count the moons. Holy cow, that's a lot of moons. Let's count that first row to make sure we have 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One row of ten. Two rows of ten. Three rows of ten. So, how many total moons do we have? Ten, twenty, thirty. Let's try another. This time we have batteries. Let's count our first row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now before we get the total, I want you to try to take a guess as to the total number of batteries there are. I'm going to circle my first row while you're thinking of it. And maybe you have your answer. And then my next row of ten. So how many batteries do we have in all? 10 plus 10 equals, I hope you said 20 because the correct answer is 20. Let's try another one. That's a lot of cars. Let's count our row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see, we're gonna circle one row of 10 and then the next row of 10. And what is our total then? That's right, 20. Let's try one more. We have some boats. Oh my goodness, I think you can handle it. I know you can. How many boats are there? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten boats. I have one row of ten. Do I need to circle any more boats? No. So what's our final answer? Ten. Great job. You are all done. See you next time.